because gases are often produced as part of a reaction, combine the ideal gas law equation with stoichiometry or a limiting reactant problem. In this case, the limiting reactant problem will provide us with information that we will then include inside of our ideal gas law equation to calculate some unknown variable. Here I give you a reaction between zinc and HCl. I told you that we are producing H2 gas as a product here, and I'm starting with 10 grams of zinc and 100 milliliters of 2.5 molar HCl. When we are done, this gas will occupy 500 milliliters and be at a temperature of 35 degrees C. And the question asks, what's the pressure of this gas? The one thing that we are lacking in this case is the number of moles of H2 generated. And this is going to be part of a limiting reactant problem. So this is going to be my product. Now I want to figure out how many moles of product I've created. I do this by using the steps of a limiting reactant problem and so I need to determine the limiting reactant. In this case, we'll take zinc and HCl and do a separate calculation to determine how much hydrogen gas would be produced if I used up each one of these reactants. In the first step, I was given 10 grams of zinc and I want moles, so I take the 10 grams and divide by the atomic weight of zinc. I get that there are 0.153 moles of zinc. I then want to convert that moles of zinc to moles of H2. I go to my reaction and get my mole ratio. The reaction says for every one mole of zinc that I use up, I make one mole of H2. I plug this into a, the calculation, the moles of zinc cancel, and we are left with moles of H2. So if I use up all of my zinc, I can create 0.153 moles of H2. Now I'm looking at the other reactant, HCl. The first thing I want to do is find out how many moles of my reactant. Remember, moles is equal to molarity times volume in liters. So I needed to convert my 100 milliliters to liters. And then when I multiply through, I get that I have 0.25 moles of HCl. I need to convert from moles of HCl to moles of H2. I want to get a mole ratio. My reaction says that for every two moles of HCl I use up, I make one mole of H2. I include that inside of my calculation. So for every one mole of H2, I need two moles of HCl. You can then cancel off the moles of HCl. The stoichiometric 2 is remaining, and so I take the 0.25 and divide by 2 to get that. When I use up all of my HCl, I will create 0.125 mole of H2. I then compare these two numbers and find out which one produces the smallest amount of product. In this case, HCl produces 0.125 mole of H2. That means that HCl is the limiting reactant and that 0.125 mole of H2 is the amount of gas that I make as my product. Now that we have moles, we want to apply the ideal gas law equation. In this case, what we're looking for is pressure, so we wanted to find the pressure after the calculation. I then solve my ideal gas law equation for P and I plug in the values. So the number of moles of gas we calculated here as part of a limiting reactant type problem. R is a constant. The temperature was given in degrees C and we needed to convert that to K. And we were told that the volume was going to be 500 milliliters or 0.5 liters. When I'm done with the calculation, I get a pressure of 6.32 atmosphere.